What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here. And today I wanna to talk about the Surface Book 2 and why I'm still carrying this device six months later. But first, I gotta pay the bills. And I wanna talk about Blizz by TeamViewer, the sponsor of this video. They're a powerful tool that lets you connect to up to 300 participants. Stop wasting your time with bad video conferencing tools. Blizz is easy to use, easy to install, and works across the Mac, PC, iOS, and Android. Communicate better, communicate securely from anywhere, anytime. Go check it out, link in the description down below. Now since we're talking about video conferencing, that's the first thing that I really love about the Surface Book 2. The fact that there's a 1080p webcam. Now I've used tons of laptops and the majority of their webcams are terrible. You're looking at a fuzzy monster, a camera from back in the 1980s. This guy was able to live stream when I was in Paris for the Huawei P20 Pro launch and none of you guys even noticed. In fact, I got tons of comments saying how good the stream actually looks. Here I have three laptops. The Acer Predator Helios 300 is a gaming laptop. You'd think with a gaming laptop, you'd have great webcam quality for streaming, but it looks very grainy. Then you have a business laptop. This is the Dell Precision 5520, a $3,600 laptop. The webcam is below. All you see is my breasts. In fact, I'd call this laptop a pervert. That's why I really value the Surface Book 2's webcam. It's clean, it's clear, and it looks fantastic. <sighs> this is what every single laptop looks like, your traditional form factor. And there's also tons of two-in-ones with keyboard covers as well. But there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing else on the market that looks like the Surface Book 2. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't use all the different form factors. I never really use it as a tablet, I never draw on it. But I'm really drawn to the way this thing looks. It is unique, it's refreshing, and it really stands out on a crowded market. All right, the display. Hands down, one of the best features about this laptop. You see, most traditional laptops are using 16 by nine displays, which are fantastic for watching movies. But a three by two aspect ratio offers you tons of vertical space. For example, The Verge, a web page that I frequently visit. I can see a lot more vertically, read more text compared to a traditional laptop. On a 16 by nine aspect ratio, the bottom and the top would be kind of covered, giving you more of a condensed look of the overall page. Same with Adobe Premiere. I can see my source monitor better, allowing me to see the image and my timeline in a clear view. For productivity, three by two is always the way to go. And now the battery life. I love the fact that I get eight hours of use before needing to charge, and that's with productivity tasks. If I'm editing video, that's obviously gonna get reduced significantly. And you gotta remember, there's a GTX 1060 inside of here. That's some pretty impressive battery life. Now the problem is, they had to use a U-series processor, which is great for battery life, but kind of suffers when it comes to performance. I edit 4K video, which means when I have a video on the timeline, a couple color corrections, maybe some text, things start to slow down. That U-series processor has trouble keeping up. I kind of wish they went with an H-series processor instead and sacrificed a little bit of that battery life. And the second thing that I don't like is that there's no Thunderbolt 3 port. I'm glad they put USB Type-C. This is something they weren't doing on the Pro line, but it's just not Thunderbolt 3. I want to be able to come home, plug it into a dock, have some faster storage drives connected to it, hook it up to a monitor, all in one port, something you can do on most laptops these days. So here's the bottom line. I love so much about this laptop. There's just two things that kind of irk me. Even though this is powerful enough for most people, I kind of wish it went with the H-series CPUs instead of the U-series. And I do wish there was a Thunderbolt 3 port. The ability to hook it up to a dock and connect multiple devices and have that bandwidth is such a great feature. The bottom line is this is a class A device. In a sea of laptops that look all the same, this one really stands out. And for the foreseeable future, it's gonna stay in my bag. Now, if you wanna continue this discussion, follow me on Discord, follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a live stream this Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. You don't wanna miss it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.